Hello everyone, welcome back to the Core Concepts playlist where we are going through very briefly a whirlwind tour, a virtual reality tour of the co-housing environments that are going to be liberating us from compulsory labour. No more rent, no more bills. How are we going to do that? This is how we're going to do it. This is the second video. So we're joining off here where we left off, which was pretty much the atrium space, right? So we talked about that in the previous video. Um, very much a dining area. Also can be used for event spaces and town hall meetings, etc. This time we're going to go upstairs. I know I mentioned that we're going to go to the community kitchen, but I think I'll do that in the third video, which stitches nicely together with the biome, which is down here beneath this glass floor. Um, because we're going to be talking about the projects that we'll be growing in the subterranean areas. So up here, though, we have studios and we have studios. So a studio is basically two studios merged together by way of this kitchenette, which joins the two rooms. So in this case, these two tenants will be sharing this kitchenette space. So even though we've gone into a sort of uh, more private space, the two DOs still have some shared space, but they're only shared with one other person. Because I know how much of a pain in the ass it can be when you go to cook, you know, and you've been, say, working all day, all you want is your free time. So that's why we're balancing out the studios, which I'll show you in a bit, with the two DOs. But by and large, the two DOs are still, of course, much more of a private space than the actual uh, shared spaces outside of this glass door here. So here we will be having um, some cooking and a small dining area, um, but there are also dining areas out in the conservatory, which we'll now move towards. This is the bedroom itself. We have a full ensuite, um, wardrobe, shelving, um, storage under the bed, which also uh, rotates up onto the wall. It's a wall bed, which gives us better access out to the conservatory. And here is a simple desk space for people who would rather work from the comfort and privacy of their own room as opposed to out in some of the co-working spaces, which I'll show you uh, perhaps in this video. And so this is out on the conservatory itself. This case, it's self-facing. So it's a, an envelope between operating as an insulation between the actual um, living quarters in here protected from the direct sun in the summer, but also insulated from the cold in the winter. So another space uh, to be, ultimately, a nice space to be. And, you know, again, the context and location of this will vary. So perhaps, you know, at some point we'll have some nice views out there. It depends where these, these projects end up getting built. And so if we now go back through, and, uh, and this space, by the way, is another great space for productivity, okay? So each each 2 as they as they come down the building like this, will be grown different crops, different uh, fruits and different vegetables, which will be kind of falling down, emanating from this roof garden, which I'll show you in the next video. Um, but for now, let's move back and let's move back towards the atrium space where I will um, navigate to the end of the building where we will be able to see an event space um, an area of the building where people can come and present their work. Because remember, people are here on a certain time-restricted basis based on their situation in life, whether they are misemployed, unemployed, or even employed, um, and the time declining as that list uh, carried on there. So if you're in a really bad situation, then perhaps you will have these spaces uh, available to you. Again, remember, free of charge because shelter, energy, food and water should be basic human rights. Um, you will have those for perhaps a three month period. And throughout that time, you will be um, not expected, but um, ultimately it will be of benefit for you to, you know, try and figure your life out and what, where do you want to go from here? So it's all about getting people, um, you know, on a foundation, you know, getting people um, to get back on their feet in society. And so these spaces are designed so that people can present the work that they've been undertaking throughout their time here, what they've learned in perhaps the humanitarian hubs downstairs, the classes, the programs that will be running. And at the end of their stay, you know, perhaps there will be presentations where people can come together and talk about this person's uh, development and how these spaces have helped them to uh, get back on their feet and, and live a more authentic life. Because remember, inauthenticity gives rise to a lot of stress and anxiety and ultimately depression. But we don't want to be surviving, we want to be thriving. And that's really what I'm hoping to achieve um, in this building, in these types of projects. So going up further into these co-working um, spaces, these are sort of breakout areas for people who would otherwise be um, you know, restricted to the confines of their room. But with these spaces, it allows people to come out, meet people, 
and you know enjoy the community that we have here around in this building so you know you, you get the privacy or you get the socializing it depends you know you get full choice because i've lived in um flat shares myself where sometimes you feel compelled and forced to interact with people that perhaps you don't want to interact with uh, and sometimes um, it's difficult to just go and cook something without having to make small talk um, but here you get a true balance between both and so sometimes you can also feel isolated let people try to live alone and it gets, becomes expensive but ultimately it's about balance and like the the diagram that i show on the website it's, it's a balancing act between living alone and living together um, so uh, like i said before i don't want these videos to get really long i'm just showing you like i mentioned a very whirlwind tour of this hypothetical prototype which has everything inside of itself to um, allow us to actually grow our own crops produce our own water everything can be done autonomously from within this building so we will talk about some of the technologies in the future but i will be um, elaborating on those um, in the future i feel so for, uh, for now that's it for this video next time we will be going up to the roof garden where we're talking about some of the technologies and produce up there and then we will go down into the subterranean areas of the building uh, at which point we will conclude this hypothetical prototype virtual reality tour so that's it for now if you feel inspired please do get in touch and subscribe and like and comment below it's nice for us to all get in touch because ultimately this is about connection right without connection none of this can happen so we need to liberate ourselves we need to liberate ourselves from rent and bills which is keeping us thwarted from forward progress our consciousness is being restricted and that's giving rise to a lot of problems in society so true freedom is the name of the game if you want to join new earth please do so at newearth.land and subscribe here on youtube okay thanks very much for watching